So much has changed in Harlem since you've been gone. I just know you'll get right back into the swing of things. I'm already back into the swing of things. This is Bumpy Johnson. He's a legend. He took on Dutch Schultz back in the day. I'm putting things back the way they were. Times have changed. I have it. Been a long time, Johnson. Welcome back. Just because you come from Sugar Hill, don't think you can play me. I heard you got out, brother. So what is it you want from me, Bob? There's something I want you to see. More heroin comes out of these project towers than any other place in Harlem. Wouldn't like this when I went away. Shutting down drug corners of the nation's cause. I got guns. I got soldiers. Bumpy Johnson, he's playing all of us. All of us a tender box. It's about to explode. You're gonna have a serious problem on your hands. Or is that a threat? I am in. That oh, was a look at the new goodness. epic series, Godfather of Harlem, inspired by the life of the infamous crime boss, Ellsworth Bumpy Johnson, whose story our next guest describes as the American dream by any means necessary. Joining us now, the star of the series and its executive producer, Academy Award winning actor, Forrest Whitaker. Forrest, it's so great to have you. Congratulations on the series. Thanks. It's great to be here. I'm really proud of it, so I'm glad to talk to you. Yeah, I was just saying, I didn't, Bumpy Johnson is a real guy. Mm -hmm. He gets out of Alcatraz after an 11 year stretch comes mm -hmm. back home and finds an entirely different neighborhood. Yeah. So who is he and what was he looking at when he got back? Well, I mean, he was looking at a, a redistribution of all of his uh, works, his business and stuff uh, as he, he was the mob boss that ran Harlem during that time. So now he's trying to reacquire his assets really uh, back in the community and reclaim his power back in the community as, as the uh, godfather of the community. And we see Malcolm X in the series. Mm -hmm. We see all this real life context around the story. What did you love about this script? when it was pitched to you? Well, I mean, actually, uh, it was an idea that was brought to me first, and I, I was able to develop it uh, from the beginning all the way up into where we are right now, which was exciting to do. I think it was it's interesting because it, it dealt with the sort of intersection of crime and the civil rights movement, right. uh, and what you talked about earlier about the pursuit of that dream, the American dream inside of all of that. And so it was interesting to get a chance to, to explore it, particularly with this relationship between Malcolm X and, and his relationship uh, with the uh, Adam Clayton Powell and all these yeah. all these political figures around that and then going honing in on his family at the end of that so it was pretty nice you know Forrest the thing that has always struck me in terms of covering drug wars mm. the flood of opium and heroin into specific neighborhoods and specific cities and the people running the organizations mm. in this case Bumpy Johnson mm -hmm. uh, the genius of people like Bumpy in that in another world, in another time, mm -hmm. in another yeah. in another aspect of our culture, our society, they would be running huge businesses. They would be CEOs sure. because of their innate genius. Sure. And it's I think that's 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 the thing. That's why we talk about uh, the American dream by any means necessary. These are his, his, these are figures who are like operating in the limitations of what society allows them to have. And I think this whole issue of being able to pursue your own dreams of life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness is really really an important one, and, and, and it's explored in the film. But then you have to question. When is when is uh, your own pursuits? Um, when do they when do they not match with what's beneficial to society? And then what kind of conscience do you have about that? Because he looks at everything as commodities. Yeah. My character and 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 he's he's. he's operating on that level but then there's a question of what happens with his daughter his daughter has a, a heroin addiction so it's kind of uh, this yeah. interesting you know education of this, of this figure so so in in researching your character mm -hmm. in researching bumpy you become bumpy obviously mm -hmm. part of you in order to portray him yeah. did anything jar you mm -hmm. during the research anything you found out about him that you doing whoa I think one of the interesting things that was really fascinating was this relationship between him and, and Malcolm X. Um, I, I don't think people have ever explored that and seen 
what this, these two men were doing in different ways in their minds to be able to be empowered and to build uh, their own uh, lives, you know, the life of society, of the community itself. That was really interesting to me. And I think that it, it, we get a chance to, in this project, to explore his relationship with the external powers, like Vincent D'Onofrio plays the head of a crime family. There's five, there's five crime families that he's dealing with in the Italian community. And so we get to watch sort of the, the criminal politics that occur between them. And, and we watch uh, Adam Clayton Powell as he's trying to like fight for certain human rights and issues and bills. So it's like, it's, it's, it's a really unique tapestry. And at the center is like a, a guy with a family who's trying to, uh, to have uh, all that he can have. What are you hoping viewers will take away? When I think there's that question, I think, one, the, the movie or the TV show like kind of echoes a lot of the things that are going on right now in society. I mean, it's dealing with the opiate crisis, mm -hmm. you know, so it's, which is a big problem in the, in the community right now. It's, it's dealing uh, with sort of the Black Lives Matters kind of issues and stuff. I think there's a lot of things that, uh, are a question in the, in the show that are still the question right now. And I think it's going to make a lot of dialogue that centers around those things as we move along. I have to imagine as an actor, it's a cool time. You're an Oscar winning film actor, but mm -hmm. man, you've got all these places like epics where you can say, I'm going to do 10 episodes, right? I'm going to do 10 little movies. I get to be the executive producer <laughs> star in it. Is that exciting for you to have this sort of blank canvas with a story and just let it play out over that much time? It is exciting, especially when you have great writing staff like uh, Chris Monk and Paul Eckstein, it's like you, you, they're writing really full characters. You're getting to explore like, you know, how his relationship with his granddaughter, his relationship with his daughter, and his relationship with the community. And you get to, the time to be able to really flesh out all of those things and emotions. And I think it's a, it's a really fortunate position to be in. I'm, I'm really excited about this time right now. I love the show, so. It's cool. You should be excited. It's so yeah. cool. The new series is Godfather of Harlem. It's on Epics. Forrest Whitaker, thank you very much. Thank it's great you. to see you. And that does it for us this morning. Stephanie Rule picks up the coverage right now. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.